transformation buffer. First of all, I need to make it. I know that my transformation buffer is calcium chloride at a concentration of 100 mic uh, millimolars in 15% glycerol. So I'll need to, to figure out how much calcium chloride to add, how much, how much glycerol and uh, how much LB because I'm going to do my, uh, my solution in LB not water. So first of all, I'm thinking, okay, so how much glycerol does it need to be in my solution? So let's say that for a total volume of transformation buffer of 10 milliliters. How much glycerol do I need to, to add in this, uh, in this buffer? Well, I need to add 15% glycerol. So, 15% times 10. It's 0 0.15 times 10, which is 1.5 milliliters of glycerol. So as a component in my transformation buffer, which has a total volume of 10 milliliters, one component is 1.5 milliliters of glycerol. That means that the rest, so 8.5, should be my, uh, my calcium chloride solution. What I'm going to need to figure out next is what concentration of calcium chloride should I use. Uh, because if I put 8.5 milliliters of, let's say, 100 millimolars, it will give me a different final concentration. So to figure that out, I'm going to need the, I'm going to use a, a well-known formula, which is CI VI, CI times VI equals CF times VF. Uh, what does this mean exactly? It's CI means the initial concentration, VI equals the initial volume, CF equals the final concentration, and VF uh, is the final volume. So in my formula, CI, the initial concentration, I need to figure out. So this would be X. The initial volume is this one. Because how much of uh, my calcium chloride solution should I add to, uh, uh, to my whole transformation buffer? I'll need to add 8.5. So this is the, the initial volume. The final concentration, I know that I'll need to have 100 millimolars in my transformation buffer. So the final concentration would be 100 millimolar. And my final volume is, of course, 10 milliliters because I need a final volume of 10 milliliters of calcium chloride in 15% glycerol. So after a simple calculation, X equals 100 millimolars, final concentration, times 10 milliliters, final volume, over 8.5 milliliters, which is the initial volume. So milliliters simplifies with milliliters. I'm gonna have 100 millimolars times 10 over 8.5. That would be roughly, let me just use a calculator here.
So it's 117.64. Millimolars. So this represents the concentration of calcium chloride that I'm going to need to add in my final transformation buffer. Well, next I'm going to need to know how exactly will I make this 117.64 millimolar calcium chloride solution. And to do this, I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use an online calculator. The link will be in the description below. Let me show you. 